Kourtney Kardashian and Travis Barker taking their next step. I'm just like living life. And soon to be living in some new digs. A source confirms to ET the newlyweds bought a house and they're taking the keys from another famous face, Conan O'Brien. You uh, ladies are very savvy about business. The price tag? $14.5 million. The house is located in Carpinteria, California, just south of Santa Barbara, where Travis popped the question. All I wanna do is go to you. According to TMZ, it's over 2,100 square feet and boasts an ocean view. And if we know this couple, the house will be a straight up love nest. Travis and Courtney are making out. They'll be here in about an hour. <laughs> This comes as ET learns details about the couple's new chapter. Our insider says Courtney and Travis, quote, are loving every minute of married life. They're pretty much inseparable. Meanwhile, Scott Disick's coming around about his ex's new man. What am I, chopped liver? If you and Travis are cool, yeah, then- We're fine. The source reveals, quote, Scott is more used to Courtney and Travis's relationship now. Congratulations, brother. Thank you, thank you. Congrats. Hi, thank you. And when it comes to the Blink-182 rocker, the source adds, quote, Scott and Travis get along fine, and there aren't any major issues between them. Yeah. Oh, oh, yes. Yes. Following Scott's appearance on the Kardashians last week, our insider explains, quote, Scott is still very much part of the family, and he talks to them on a regular basis. I mean, I think you just gotta figure out really what's important to you at the end of the day. Scott and Court share three little ones, Mason, Penelope, and Rain. Travis is a really amazing father. It's one of the reasons that I fell in love with him. He is very, very patient. I think because we've all known each other, it does make it easier to blend our families. Like, it's all I could ever want. And as our source tells ET, the ex is, quote, still remain in contact and they're co-parenting in a healthy manner. Yeah, no, I think they're doing amazing, and I think everyone has to handle their co-parenting situation in their own style, but my mom and my dad were like that. It took them years, but my dad would come over once a week for family dinners and would play golf with my stepdad, and so we come from a family where we believe in that, and you share children with people, and that's how it should be. 